Okay team, in this video, we're gonna look at structure word analysis or morphemic analysis, and we're gonna connect it back to the essay. Okay, so we're, we're thinking about that first essay on oral reading fluency, and I'm getting you ready for that word identification essay involving oral reading fluency. And we just wanna take a little bit more time with this idea of what exactly is structure word analysis. So first, let's just start with a, a definition of structural word analysis or morphemic analysis, because you'll see these on your essays. This is a word identification strategy where a student takes a multi-syllable word like unhappy or unhappiness, and they break up the word into its morphemes. And a morpheme, just reviewing vocab for everyone in the group, is the smallest part of a word that carries meaning. So in the word unhappiness, it has three morphemes. Uh, there's a prefix, there's a suffix, and there's a base word. Now, sometimes we call prefixes and suffixes. Sometimes we call them affixes. And that base word uh, is a type of stem. So a stem can either be a base word or a root word. Root words are like, like bio in, uh, in like biology. Okay, a root word comes from like a Greek and Latin word. And we're looking at part of that Greek and Latin word that's embedded in another word. And we can use root word, if we can recognize roots, common roots in words, we can help like identify the meaning of the word or, you know, pronounce the word like with the teacher teaches you bio and then you can use it for all sorts of other words to recognize them. But there's a difference here. Root words are a part of, a, of another word from another language. And base words are words like happy that stand by themselves. So you can just say the word happy and you know what it is. It's an everyday tier one word. So with structure word analysis or morphemic analysis, a student is taking a multi-syllable, a multi-morphemic word or multi-syllable word, and they're chunking it into meaningful parts, prefix, some type of stem or base or root word and suffix. Got that team? Okay, now uh, we're gonna do two questions. One question that we're gonna do is involving structure word analysis, and it has to do with structure word analysis and, and literally doing structure word analysis. Right. And another question we're going to do is doing structural word analysis with compound words. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with this one first and uh, involving uh, structural word analysis, involving morphemic analysis. And it leads us to this scenario here. And in this scenario, uh, it has um, it has a word, a base word uh, to act. And this base word, look at the picture real quick. Everyone take 30 seconds and just look at the picture. Pause the video now and tell me when you've looked at the picture. Go ahead. You see in the picture that the teacher is taking this everyday verb to act. And they're adding on some suffixes and they're adding on some prefixes. They're adding on some prefixes and suffixes, right? And, and the teacher is using that base word to learn a whole bunch of new words, right? Now, usually this type of activity, this is definitely a vocabulary uh, development question. And we're gonna see this uh, later on in, you know, when we get to the unit involving vocabulary development, this could fall into uh, a question in that area. But the reason why I'm showing you it is because this activity is involving some type of morphemic analysis or structural word analysis where the teacher is doing an activity where they're looking at prefix, base, and suffix of a word, okay? Now, with that in mind, uh, read the question. I'll give you two minutes. I know this is a vocabulary question, a vocab uh, development question, which we're going to do later on, but let's just uh, review it just to get exposure to one type of uh, morphemic analysis scenario, okay? Read it to yourself, two minutes, go. Um, we have a teacher and they're working with the word act, to act. This is a very basic everyday tier one word, right? Single syllable word, basic tier one, everyday single syllable word, to act, act. And the activity that they're doing, we could say activity or why don't we say uh, mini, uh, mini lesson? We could say all this. We could say mini lesson. We could say um, activity. We could say uh, this is a instructional strategy. 
instructional strategy, right? Uh, we could just say it's a it's a game. So it doesn't matter what we say. The teacher is doing an instructional strategy or an activity or a mini lesson, right? Or a learning experience or a game, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it an instructional strategy because this is a instructional strategy like a, the things that they ask you to put in your essays. Remember your essays, uh, when we get to it, they're going to talk about you identifying a strength, an area of need, and they're going to want you to write an instructional strategy. This is an example of an instructional strategy, right? Or a mini lesson or game. <clears throat> and in it, um, they show an example of this instructional strategy. And if they were like, what type of instructional strategy this is, well, this is a structural strategy. It's not involving Greek roots because there's no Greek root here, right? Or it's not really, that's not the focus. Uh, I think ACT might be a Greek and Latin root, but um, it's not really about Greek roots. It's not really about uh, syllable patterns or compound words. There's no compound words here. This is all about show, building a student's awareness of morphemic structure. Yes? So when we look at a word and we look at the parts of a word that carry meaning, Pre, uh, like uh, prefix, base, suffix, these things. We're looking at morphemic structure. Now, um, this is going to be used in vocabulary, but you could also see it on your test. And where I think you'd see it on your test is involving like multi-syllable words that have compound words. This is very common. So, so let's take a moment now and look at compound words because this is super common for the first essay. And really, I think with compound words, this is like one of the most common ways you could talk about structural word analysis in your essay. Okay, so let's take a look at this.